Let's, let's move on to accessories. Parents, if you're watching, I'm so sorry. What else do we got here? Ah. Uh, I don't have any windbreakers anymore. It's It was too early 90s. Like, I don't know. Mm. I don't wear windbreakers. Fashion is cyclical, but I don't think windbreakers but are ever going to come back. I do. I'm going to stand up for just a moment. I do have a Gryffindor robe. Now... These are seasonal. They very seldom can you pull this off. Like very, like maybe three holidays out of the year, will this do anything? And one of those is Halloween. But nevertheless, I mean, this is authentic. This came from Harry Potter mm -hmm. land. Or and it is very warm. It has a wand pocket. I mean, that's very convenient. I'm in music school, so I have to take conducting, and my conducting mm -hmm. wand fits, batons fit very well. Fits perfectly. Okay. On to the next. On to the next. Okay, we're going to move past jackets because I don't want to whip out my entire arsenal of leather jackets mm -hmm. and non-leather jackets and suede and corduroy. I, I don't want to get into all that. We've got hats. This... Another very important knit, accessory. Knit hats. I look like, like Link or something in this. Like Maybe like a Jewish Link. Which I'm, we're Jewish, so those of you out there that are Nazis can piss off. Hats are good. Whether knit or, I mean, if you like Usher, as they call them, the locals, Usher, Usher, I don't know how you pronounce it, I don't know, I very rarely ever don't wear this, don't, I, I don't wear this. It looks but, pretty good. But I like it, It's I like to own mm. hats, even if I don't wear all of them, I've got probably 50. The more hats you own, the more likely you are to be well-dressed in the proper situation. Scarf kind of things. Gypsy scarf. I wouldn't really consider this. This is some kind of like Middle Eastern gnarly rocking. I don't know what you'd call it, but I like it. I mean, we live in Texas, so sometimes we can get away with like urban neo cowboy looks. Mm -hmm. Also, scarves can be used as sashes, which is a very cool mm, I have, idea. I have like a regular pirates. scarf too. Regular scarves are pretty hardcore. I think you can. It, not a. I mean, now I feel like I want to go get my pea coat, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to. But that is a nice tube uh, scarf. If I were the sort of man that robbed trains, which, I mean, I probably would, given mm. the correct circumstances. Especially if it was a train full I'd, of... I'm not... I don't, I don't... I've never worn this around my neck, at least not publicly, but maybe like... You can do things like that. Karate right? Kid? <laughs> I'm not sure what you'd call this style, but... I think you'd call it the Karate Kid. Maybe That's what it looks like to me. Tupac. It's, it's oh, the Tupac. Mm -hmm. If you want to get thuggy. Ties. Ties are also good. Josh has. Ooh. Josh here has a ton of ties. Ties I'm, are very mine good. Mine are buried somewhere in storage, but I have my 8-bit tie. It's, this one's actually a clip-on. Mm -hmm. I, like I want to expel the myth that you can only wear ties with button-up shirts because... You can wear ties with other things. It's tough to pull it off, but you could wear ties with t-shirts or even like and the nude, under sweaters. You could just have a tie and a man thong. There's nothing, yeah. nothing wrong with glasses. Is another very important part. Yes, glasses, and I've got some some like you know eye correction glasses that are actually fake somewhere. But mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with doing that, by the way. I don't know. <clears throat> What else can you accessorize with besides actual apparel? I mean, we've got... Well, you should... Yeah, that's that's true. And you should also point out your uh, earrings. Oh, that's true. It's another thing man, men have. Uh, uh, if you look, I am uh, n not gay, but I do wear dangly earrings. Not that I think it's gay, to, obviously, because I wear the... Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Dangly earrings? Yeah. It's totally manly, right? There's nothing... Why should I get made fun of for that? It's... Well, if you're homosexual and you wear dangly earrings... Then more power to you. But if you're not homosexual and you wear d dangly earrings, then... Then even more power to you, right? I don't, I don't think earrings have anything to do with sexual preference, but... I don't think so either. But some people out there are homophobic. Mm -hmm. When I worked at Wendy's, I wasn't allowed to wear earrings because, well... I won't name the manager, but he was a homophobe, and he was convinced that I was after his nether bits. Mm. I wasn't. 